Hey Kevin, um, after this morning it looked like you guys had found something overnight and obviously the rain came, so just talk to me about the frustrations of getting knocked out in qualifying. Yeah, I mean we were hoping, uh, you know, Mick was looking good in FP3, I didn't have a good FP3, but uh, you know, I, I could see what the car could do, so I was confident uh, and um, well then it rains, made me even more confident and uh, for some reason we just didn't have the pace today um, in the wet. So it's interesting, uh, it's obviously, we've been quick in the wet a couple of times this year, but it's been on very different tracks to this one, so maybe there's something to learn from that and, um, you know, then we try again tomorrow, see if we can uh, fight our way back into the top ten. It should be drier tomorrow at least, the weather should be better. Does that give you some hope based on the dry running that you did get on, uh, on Friday? Yeah, well, our weekend is... Um, you know, we haven't actually. We don't feel like we had that much running because in FP1 it was wet also, and uh, so it's been. It's a little bit more unknown going into tomorrow's race than it usually is, but um, that's the same for everyone. So we'll see what happens. Hey, Alex, as, as the weekend's gone on, you looked like you were building confidence in the car. So just what happened in qualifying just now? Uh, yeah, we, we opted to do a, um, a cool down lap, the lap before the last, um, and we just lost all tyre temps. So. Um, for that last time, obviously the track was drying out, everyone was getting quicker, but actually, for me the grip was lower, just, um, yeah, it's one of them things I think we, we were always in the top 10 more or less when we crossed the line, um, I think we, yeah, we must really, on hindsight, didn't need to do that cool down lap, and maybe we should have just kept pushing, but, um, yeah, all to play for tomorrow. Yeah, I was going to say, you must feel like you've got a good car underneath you, that you can maybe claw something back tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, we, we have a good car, and it's just about, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see tomorrow. Mick, you look so strong this morning in final practice. So can you talk me through what went wrong in qualifying? Yeah, unfortunately we had an issue in the in the car. Uh, it seems like uh, something with the steering wasn't right, uh, which is the last thing you want, especially in these changing conditions. Um, so yeah, I think we're, we're still trying to analyse what what went wrong, uh, what what happened, and um, yeah, I think that that's a big reason why we we didn't manage to to do the step up into Q2. So given what you kind of learned overnight and the time that you got out of the car this morning, are you optimistic that maybe you might be able to claw something back tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm down for any conditions, uh, you know, arriving tomorrow if it's wet or dry. I don't really mind. I think it's uh, it's fun in any conditions, so uh, just looking forward to it. Hey, Sebastian, Lance was saying he was struggling to get tyre temperature in. Was it similar for you out there? No, not really. I think um, maybe we, we weren't quite in the window on generating the grip, but... Uh, yeah, overall we're just too slow. Disappointed, I guess, generally, given all the updates you've brought this weekend. Still optimistic for tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, you always have to be optimistic, but it's it's tough on a day like this because everybody's been pushing so hard and working so hard also yesterday and trying to turn it around today and then we're out in Q1, so that's sad.